Hello, Annie Collins here from Lavinia Stamps. Today we'll be creating this Hello Fairy card. Let's go over some of the items we'll be using. The Lavinia Stamps Fairy Foragers, I'll be using this top fairy. The mini toadstool. And the lavender stamp. I pre-cut the sentiment, which is Hello. Now you, that's from Mama Elephant Stamp, but die, sorry. We have our white card base black layering cardstock, Bristol spoons, which is where we're going to create our card front panel, masking paper, which I've die cut using some 2D hexagon stuff, hexagon dies. We're using Distress Oxide and Shaded Lilac, Tattered Rose, and Marigold, Dried Marigold. We'll also be using some Nocturne, Versa, VersaClare Nocturne ink, which I'll show you in a bit later. So let's get started on creating our card. Let me move some of these things out of our way. We start by placing our mask on our card front panel. Just line up your edges and press it down. Make sure your, your mask is on firm so that when you start inking, none of the ink goes under your mask. This is uh, Simon Says Stamp um, mask, but we at the shop we have some other masking paper. We will start with shaded lilac as our base color. I'm using the mini blending foam to go ahead and ink up our card panel. So I'm just going to, I start off on putting the most ink on the bottom and then I fade it out. I'm just rubbing it from side to side, trying to get as smooth of a blend as possible. I don't want a lot of streaky marks in there. This is actually a fairly quick way to create your background. Now we're going to move on to our next color which is dried marigold. Yep. Doing the same thing, picking up some ink and rubbing it on. Trying to keep as much of the dark color towards the bottom and fading it out towards the top. And we're going to overlap our orange and our, our um, purpley color just a bit. Not too much because we don't want to create brown, but just to give it a little bit of darkness right there. We're trying to create sort of a dark sunset just hitting before you hit that nice darkness in the sky. Now we're going to turn to the tattered rose. I'm going to use that towards the top. Again, concentrating our most color towards the bottom. This goes pretty quickly. So this is an easy way to create several cards because you can reuse the mask. Once we have it all covered, I tend to go back and, and blend our colors, so I'm going to bring it. I don't re-ink it, I just use whatever's left on there. So we have a nice, smooth transition between our colors. There you go. Now let me close off the inks and get them out of our way, because I'm going to heat set this just a bit before I move on to the next step. I can proceed, but I prefer just to heat set it just a little bit. So I know that my next stamp, in, when I stamp my next images, they're going to be nice and dark and crisp. So I brought out my stamp platform and I'm going to put my magnets on my panel and move it up more so I'm in screen. Sorry about that. And we're going to start off with the, the um, the lavender using the Versafine, Noct Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. Yes. See, I'm, I'm using the um, backer sheet to make sure that's where I want it. Now I'm going to get the stamp. These are new stamps, so they're a little sticky. They stick to my fingers, but that's okay. Once you press them into the paper, they stay. Better where I want it. I'm going to close my lid and ink up my stamp. I love that the nocturne ink is 
nice and black and crisp and it lays over the oxidings beautifully. It doesn't oxidize it. It stays crisp. Give it a good rub, make sure we're good. And here we have our first stamped image. I'm gonna do it a little bit just because it's the first one, make sure it stays nice and dark. And now I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. I'm cleaning off my ink so that I can place it without getting any ink transfer anywhere I do not want it. I'm getting the, again, with the Nocturne ink. And I'm not worried about anything that's not within my hexagon because remember the mask is still there. We haven't removed it yet. Now I proceed with the mushrooms. I want to stagger my mushroom. So I'm starting off the, as low as possible on this one, making sure that the little bottom edge is on my mask. Pick it up, ink it, and stamp it down. I repeat this with the other one, but this one I want a tad taller than the last one. I want to make sure that I have a, a staggered effect. Another nice crisp image. Trying to center this one here. Now I want this one just on the edge of my mask paper because I want this one to be taller than the other two. Go ahead and press it down. Nice and staggered. We'll notice it more once I remove, once I relieve, once I relieve, remove the masking paper. I'm sorry about that. Now I'm gonna place my little fairy. I want her to just, just be crouching on our center mushroom. And it's, it works out perfectly because the mushroom has these little divots in it. So her little hands and feet fit in there nicely. Press that on there. Give it a little wipe with my microfiber cloth to make sure it stays. I get a nice even impression. And there we have all of our stamped images. Let me move that platform. I'm going to heat set this so we can proceed to remove the mask. I don't want to have the ink wet and then I touch it by accident and get ink smeared everywhere. So I'll do a quick heat set. Now we're going to remove our mask. Now if your cardstock like mine warps a little bit, don't worry, we, we it'll straighten out once we glue it down. Oop, I'm not removing the mask just yet. I'm gonna add some sheer shimmer spray and sparkle. This is by Imagine Crafts. I'm just giving it a good shake. I'm gonna get my um, splatter box and this is how I'm gonna oxidize our Distress um, inks by spraying this. This will give it a nice shimmer, almost like little stars or little uh, fireflies in the background is what I'm trying to go for here. There, you can see it now that I pick it up to the light. It gives it a nice shimmer and then I have those extra bigger little splatters. I'm gonna dab those up with um, my microfiber cloth. You can use a paper towel, napkin, whatever you have on hand. There, you can see it gives us that nice shimmery oxidized splatters. I'm gonna heat set this before I remove my mask. Here we go, I'm gonna use this little 
pokey tool here to get my edge started. And then I gently start pulling the mask. One, I don't want to tear my mask because I would like to use it again. And two, since we did heat set it, the ink, the adhesive is a little more sticky. So I'm going nice and slow. So there is our image. Now we have a nice crisp white background with the image right in the focal point in the center. Now we are going to put our card together, I believe. Yes, so I'm gonna put my white card panel onto my black layering um, card stock here. And I just use some liquid adhesive so I have a nice, some time to wiggle it into place, get it nice and centered, press it into place. You can use any adhesive you prefer. This is just easier for me at the moment. <clears throat> now we're going to add this panel to our card base. I had pre-added um, adhesive strips to the back of my card. Oh my, not my back of my card, back of my black panel. I'm sorry about that. And I'm just going to take a moment to re really move the backing strips on that. Now I'm going to place this onto my card, which is a standard A2 size card, which is five and a quarter, five and a half by four and a quarter. Yeah, I think I know the sizes. I really do. Now let's pay, let's bring our attention to our sentiment. I went ahead and die cut this four times and ran it through my Xyron Mini X machine, which will turn each of these into a sticker. I will then stack them on top of one another so I get a nice thick chipboard style piece that says hello. I'm gonna just repeat that. And I use my little pokey tool here to clean up any extra adhesive that's in the open areas like of the, the loops and the H and the E, L and O. Peel it off the backer sheet and I should be able, and then I place it onto our card towards the left, just on top of our image so that it's anchored onto there so it's not just floating up there. Now for finishing touches I'm going to pull in some little tiny black hearts. I'm going to add adhesive to, by the hello and then by the fairy one of the lavenders and just outside of our focal point. I know it's hard to see that I'm putting adhesive down because of it's on white and I'm a little out of focus here so please excuse me for that. I'm going to get my pickup tool and place my hearts. These are tiny heart se black heart sequins. It just gives it a little something, and I wanted, didn't want anything different. I wanted to keep the black theme throughout. As now we have enough sparkle and shine to this card with all the um, shimmer spray, but I still want to add a little something. I want my fairy to stand out just a bit more. So I'm going to use the Sakura Jelly Roll Pen in Sparkle and that's exactly what it does. It just adds a little shimmer, a little sparkle. I'm gonna add little dots to the fairy wings and those little twirls that come off the fairy's wings in her hair. And it's kind of hard to see because my hand's in the way, but once I hold it to the light, do you see those cute little dots? That brings your eye toward towards her when you look at it. Nice shimmer. Nice focal on her point on her with that little sparkle pen. And now our card is complete. We've used the Lavinia World stamps, the fair, the forage, the fairy foragers. I'm sorry. We used a little crouching fairy right there. We used the lavender and the mini toadstool. Of course, I'll have everything in the description box below so that you know where you can find uh, these items and everything else I used in this to make this card. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Please follow us because you can have more inspiration from the Lavinia World's design team.